it's time for some conspiracy theories. Wait, I don't feel right. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. <laughs> Look, I even put on a tie for the occasion, and it has a look, it has a cat on it. Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here, welcome back to another video. So today, we, I, I have a conspiracy theory video today. Who, Shane Dawson, who? Huh? Hmm? Today's conspiracy theory is about the Pancake Family. So there are a bunch of different conspiracies that we are going to be talking about today, and these conspiracies were all conspired by not only fans, but you guys. You guys helped me come up with these conspiracies in a live stream a little while ago. Once again, I will be live streaming again. And once again, if you want to see your sims in my live streams, go to the gallery and do hashtag CoolNickyD reality show and submit your sims and they can be in my reality shows over the summer. So do that. There's so many fun submissions already, so I can't wait for you guys to, you know, continually do that. The Pancake Family. They are a very, very, very creepy family in the sense that nobody truly knows what their position is in The Sims 4. Like, why are they there? What are they doing? You know, who, who, huh? So, it is rumored, and let, let's, okay. So, basically, the first conspiracy is that they are based off of a family from The Sims 1 named the Newbies. So, um, the new in the Newbie family, there was the husband's name was Bob and the wife's name was Betty, which is like Eliza and like Betty, Elizabeth. It's like the same name that they they derive from. So that is the first rumor. And the rumor, like the storyline behind that marriage was that Betty, the wife, was not able to achieve any of her life goals because of her marriage to Bob. So that is why this new reincarnation of them kind of turned into the same thing where they are just stuck in this unhappy marriage situation. But in The Sims 4, it's not that Eliza doesn't, like, she can't achieve her life goals because of marrying Bob. It is unknown. And this is where all the conspiracies come in. So everybody knows, like, that a lot of people hate Eliza for some reason. Nobody hates Bob, but everybody hates Eliza. And she's always everywhere. Everyone always points out the fact that Eliza is always roaming around town, stalking their sims, constantly wanting to come over everything. And it is a conspiracy that Eliza is actually part of the FBI or like the sims. Like she's a spy. She's a secret agent because she is always around people's houses. It's crazy. I am consulting my iPad just to make sure I'm saying the right things, by the way. So, like, Eliza is always stalking people and different sims, and she is on different... She's different in some games, according to you guys. She's different in some games, and you guys all agree with me. So that is the rumor. That's that's kind of how people say that, you know, she's, she's like an FBI agent, and that's why she's going around constantly investigating people's homes, constantly wanting to visit you while you're home. So that's the reasoning behind that, apparently. And then, in all of the Sims trailers, the Pancake family is depressed. Like, Bob is always depressed. And that is because Eliza, or like Bob, is most likely stuck in a, like, abusive relationship with Eliza. So not only is she like, you know, kind of like a crazy FBI, you know, investigator, but she's also really rude to Bob. And it is told to me by several of you guys that in some of your games, when you go into the Pancake family household, Eliza is like a criminal or a secret agent. Like they're predestined to actually be like that, which is really crazy. I don't know, like if that's what you guys told me, several of you guys told me that. So like, I have no like reason but to believe you guys when you tell me that. And that is just absolutely crazy how Bob, poor Bob in all the trailers, he's so depressed and upset and he's stuck in this relationship with a criminal. 
and you guys also said, and I have noticed that whenever you may see Bob and Eliza interacting, one, they rarely do it, but two, usually she's yelling at him. So it's kind of like her reincarnation from Betty back in The Sims getting back at her husband for holding her back at all of her dreams at that time, and now she's finally getting back at him, being rude to him, being this criminal, doing, being a rebel, doing everything she wanted to do back in The Sims, but she didn't, so now she's doing it now, and that's kind of where their storyline derives from. And then if you look at Bob Pancakes, just to reinsure the fact that he is being, like, abused, he is always depressed. Bob Pancakes is always depressed, and it's super weird with someone with the last name of Pancakes who likes to eat grilled cheese all day. Like, yeah, how could you be depressed? Really? And then the last conspiracy theory of the day is how are they going to end this whole, you know, debate and battle, like, lifetime battle, different freaking different lifetime battles and that is that they had a son i have not seen the son in the game but apparently you guys have if you play like through a little bit more i guess that they have a son named iggy and iggy iggy pancakes is the way that the pancake family eliza and bob are going to end the animosity towards each other and kind of glue their relationship back together and forget about everything that had happened with them so that is also really cool to see that um, in some sort of way, you guys and The Sims has connected a storyline to finally actually make them happy, which is very... Alright guys, so that is the conspiracy theory for today. Everything about Eliza from... To, from Eliza being a spy to the unhappy marriage, like why the unhappy marriage is in the Pancake family. That is a conspiracy theory. I would love, love, love to do more of these conspiracy theories, and I have done them in the past. I will hopefully add them in like an annotation. Um, or something at the end of the video. Um, I did, I know I did something about the goths being time travelers and Agnes Crumplebottom and kind of like the history of her life. So yeah, that is pretty much it. But I hope you enjoyed. I will, will, will try to live stream um, this weekend, I promise. Kendall and I are going to hopefully work on the multiplayer mod that we can play with. So maybe we can live stream that. I am not sure. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, definitely going to be finishing Jungle Adventure very soon. That way I can start do using you guys as sims for my reality shows. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like. It's a big help. And I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo.